just like the heroes of great works of literature, many arguments suffer from serious flaws. However, in arguments, these flaws come from an unwarranted or unlikely assumption. Remember that arguments are constructed of evidence and assumptions that lead us to a conclusion. We're going to look at how arguments can go wrong. This argument reads, Mickey is the best player in the Wabash Roller Hockey League. Mickey plays for the Wildcats. Therefore, the Wildcats are the best team in the league. Now, the assumption here is that the team with the best player will be the best team. But of course, this isn't really warranted. A lot of times, great players are stuck on terrible teams, and their teams don't perform very well. That's a flaw in this argument. We can state it in general or specific terms. We can say, the argument's author fails to consider that any of Mickey's teammates may be significantly worse than the average player in the league, which is a specific way to point out the flaw in this argument. Or we could just say, the argument's author fails to consider that what is true of part of a group is not necessarily true of the whole group. That's a more general description of this argument. All right, let's take a look at one more example. This argument reads, the Arriva Derche Eatery on Main Street has recently received the highest rating in the city's restaurant review guide. Several celebrities, among them film star Bronco Cantrell, are regular patrons of Arriva Derche. Therefore, the high rating received by Arriva Derche in the restaurant review guide must be due to the presence of celebrities as regular patrons. Now, what's wrong with this argument? Well, the assumption is the presence of celebrities causes a high rating. But this seems unlikely. What seems more likely is that because the restaurant got a high rating, celebrities started to patronize it. So what we can say about this argument is that the author fails to consider that celebrities might have begun to frequent Arriva Derci after the restaurant received a high rating. Or, in more general terms, that the author concludes that one thing was caused by another, whereas the evidence is consistent with the reverse cause and effect relationship. That's a more general statement of the flaw in this argument.